We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for tuning in for another video. This time I want to talk about Luke in this particular outfit you sort of see in front of you. Uh, it's probably made from A New Hope, obviously. Uh, the end of A New Hope, the Yavin Medal Ceremony, and then later brought into the comic series. Um, as sort of a prominent outfit, sort of through most of the most of the run, sort of post A New Hope. Uh, here is the same cover on the issue one of Star Wars from Marvel from back in 2015. So yeah, I've, I've really been a big fan of this outfit, the yellow jacket, the brown pants with the uh, Corellian blood stripe, which is, I think it's got another name because technically the uh, the ones that Han Solo wears with the red stripes are the Corellian blood stripe, but I can't remember what the yellow one is off the top of my head. Um, so I really like this look, um, but sadly Hasbro just haven't quite got there with the figures. Um, I do love the old Power of the Force one. That's just a bit of a nostalgia trip. It's one I never had as a kid and uh, I do have now. And it's cool, but uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's a little bit dated, but it works well with the Power of the Force collection. It's fine. Um, then they dropped this one back in... 2014's Black Series, the three and three quarter inch wave. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Black Series, but uh, they recently re-released this one in the vintage collection, maybe a year or two ago, and they updated, updated the uh, head sculpt with the photo reel deco. But uh, it wasn't one I felt was justifiable enough to uh, get a new copy, so I've just held on to this one. It's fine, but again. This, the base of the figure, except for the head, is is a pretty old figure now. I'm pretty sure maybe the top half might have been new. Um, I can't remember, but it's still got these sort of weird sort of uh, swivel swivel hips here and no ankle articulation. So he is a pretty dated figure by today's standards. Um, and yeah, even the more current re-release still used all this same body stuff. So um, being that he has sort of risen to prominence in this outfit through the comics they did reveal this pack Hasbro did put out this great set Skywalker Strikes and inside you got a pretty darn good good figure and I, I do love this figure they released it as well it's a single separate sort of single box with the Yavin metal um, great looking head sculpt just didn't quite hit it for me um, I've kept this one in the box. This one looks good. I do like the look of it. It looks really, really good. Um, just not quite 100%. But yeah, this one sort of came with some cool accessories from the comics. Uh, it's the Journal of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, sort of crate. Uh, sort of training ball. Lightsaber. Blaster pistol up there as well. Sort of training, training helmet, which isn't the same one uses in the Millennium Falcon and New Hope. I know a lot of people were sort of picking on this helmet for the era, but uh, that was actually used in the comics separately. So uh, yeah, it's a different helmet. But uh, the rumor is that uh, this outfit here is coming. <laughs> so as you can see, there's the uh, blast shield down with the rebel insignia. Rumor is this figure is coming, so it'll be a sort of sleeveless, sleeveless look. Uh, more than likely just a bit of a kit bash. Um, but we'll see. It could be cool, whether that's true or not. But basically what I've done is I've taken my other version of it and I've, I've got an extra um, Dagobah Luke. And Dagobah Luke Skywalker that just came out last year is one of the best head sculpts, period, that they've done for Luke. Um, and you can sort of see here on this on this figure right here, it's just... Absolutely stunning. Zoom up and get it on there. Like I just I love the depth of the hair, the paint paintwork on the hair, the sculpt of the hair. It looks great. It looks like a more sort of you know in the heat of heat of the moment sort of Luke Skywalker um, look, basically. So a lot of guys use this. I'll put this on a Bespin Bespin figure as well. Um, damaged up his face a little bit so he's got the like bloody face so it's like sort of post duel with Vader and that's turned out really well 
Um, so basically the neck, the head's not a simple uh, head swap. So basically what I did, I had to pull the neck out of the uh, Yavin Luke. And uh, I basically, I end, if I got the right pegs, you can sort of peg it into the uh, chest, but I didn't have the right pegs, so I ended up just sort of gluing, gluing the neck in. Um, but the head still has, you know, fantastic range of movement, so I was more than happy with it. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really digging the look of this one. I also use the, uh, the handstand hand from Dagobah Luke, just as a bit of a force push. Um, you know, at the moment I've sort of got him posed as if he's like, you know, he's taking the front in a, in a battle against some stormtroopers or something, and he's sort of telling his comrades to just sort of stay back. So I'm going to sort of maybe bring up a shot with like Han and, Han and Leia behind him. And maybe it's just some stormtroopers like in the foreground, like, you know, Luke's basically just standing back saying, you know, I've got this. Sort of like here, he's, he's taking a bit of a defensive pose. Um, and protecting his his friends there, so a little bit, little bit like that. That's sort of the inspiration I got for this sort of pose. Um, another one I sort of come up with was like a uh, you know a straight up force push. And still kind of defensive, but uh, but yeah, this hand works great. I did have to. Um, it was sort of a looser hole, so I did have to, and it's not as in a shallow. Sorry, it's more shallow than the Dagobah, Dagobah Luke. Um, so I did have to tr sort of trim it down a little bit. And I've just got a little bit of extra blue tack on there just to, once it pops in, it just sort of gives it a little bit more support. It's not going to fall out and go anywhere. But aside from that, it's a pretty simple custom. Uh, bulletproofvillain.com.au, he's currently got um, a bunch of the, the 40th anniversary vintage carded uh, Dagobah Lukes on sale for half price. Um, they're da damaged packaging, so he's, so he's clearing them out. Um, so it was a great opportunity to grab one for some custom fodder. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get a couple more of the uh, Yavin Lukes because I know they they <laughs> there was plenty of them put out, and there was a uh, you know a lot of them could be put to good use because uh, this head sculpt on this look here is probably my second favourite uh, what I did with the one from this from this figure here is I actually put it on my snow speeder look so I could have a snow speeder look and I did do a video about that one uh, a couple of months back because I, I, I do really really love this head sculpt um, there were a few copies that sort of came out and the hair wasn't sort of fixed onto the head properly and it looked a little bit weird uh, like the hairline just was sort of sitting too high and it looked like he had a giant forehead but you know this look like just look at that face it's it's dead on from that sort of last scene from A New Hope at the at the oven medal ceremony absolutely fantastic so yeah, this is one of the one of the greater sets out there really cool exclusive set this one I definitely recommend picking them up they're still around but uh yeah i've just kept it like that but yeah just want to share this little video of this figure that i sort of put together today and you know, try and get some cool shots of this one on the weekend um got a couple of ideas hopefully i can uh find some time to get them together Maybe even maybe even shoot some video for uh, my processes and all that sort of stuff. So let me know what you think in the comments below. See some other folks having a crack at this custom. Um, pretty simple, like I said. Not a lot of work. Just got to have a couple of spare figures. Um, if you can find them cheap enough, snatch them up. Another thing, bulletproof also bulletproof villain also has. The uh, full Dagobah, Dagobah set with Yoda and the swap out hands because the uh, stand at the 40th anniversary doesn't come with the extra hands. But he also has them for quite a good price at the moment as well. So go and snatch a couple of them up. And use these phenomenal accessories and head sculpts and stuff. You know, can't go wrong. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. And uh, hit the notification bell so my videos come straight to your inbox and or get little notifications come up on your phone or your device or whatever. So thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.